Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I think I've mentioned this in a couple videos, but I've been having some really um, skin issues, some bad skin issues, some breakouts. Um, I'm assuming mostly to do with, you know, hormones, wearing the mask all the time, wearing makeup almost every day. Like, you know, the list goes on and on. So today I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying at home. I'm looking like a mess. <laughs> um, so I'm having a mask free, makeup free day to hope that, you know, helps my skin a little bit. But really I'm here to talk about the wallflower sale at Bath and Body Works over the weekend. So... Me and Corey went in, we picked up some wallflowers. I didn't need a ton, but I just needed a few extras to like get me over the hump of winter so that hopefully I don't have to purchase any more until like about SAS or like springtime for those types of scents. I have enough that I should be able to like get over, <laughs> get over the hump if you know what I mean. So I don't have too many. Corey picked some out as well. I have an extra plug, so he's gonna use that for his office. Um, so yeah, very exciting. So let's dive in. The first one I got, I have this one set out because it was leaking and I was like, dang, the bed really smells good. And like, you know, it was like the whole bottom of the bag was kind of wet. So I was like, gosh, that just, it smells like, you know, it, I'm like thinking like it smells like one of these spilled. Yeah, <laughs> this one was leaking. I went in store. So like the fact that this was leaking and I got it in store is like, Nah, not not that great. Um, it's winter candy apple, so it's okay. Um, it looks relatively full, so I don't think I lost too much, but it leaked. Um, it says the fragrance notes are candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. So a little bit different than the um, body care. And I don't have the winter candy apple candle for this year. Maybe I can get that in um, get like candle day. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the ones I picked out first, then we'll get to Corey's fix. So I also got Frosted Cranberry. Like I said, I was trying to get some wintry scents. Um, iced Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apple. I don't know that I've, I've had Frosted Cranberry in the past, but I got a lot of this this year. I got the Body Care, I got a couple soaps in it, I have this now, so I'm gonna be rolling with the Frosted Cranberry. <laughs> This one's not super winter. Um, I got thanks and giving. I may end up holding this over till next fall. I'm not sure. I think it's like caramel and apple. They didn't have any candles for me to smell, but I'm pretty sure I've smelled this in the past. The notes are juicy red apple, gooey caramel and praline pieces. So I'm assuming it's car caramel apple. Um, I already did a caramel apple wallflower. I just actually finished it up for this fall. So I may carry this one over to next fall. I don't really care if I do that. I'm not like that strict on myself. So that might happen with that one. Um, one I, I really love. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had the wallflower, but I've had the hand soap before and I've loved it. It's fresh sparkling snow. So this one looks like the, the label's kind of funny. It like ends before, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, the notes are grapefruit and orange, icy melon, winter pine. So I don't know if this is exactly the same notes as the hand soap, um, but it's not like a super wintry scent in my opinion. It's a little bit like edging just towards spring. So I'm happy about that. Um, I will say, I know I've said this before many times, but these wallflowers end so far above the bottom of the jar. And there's product left in these, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so, um, I also got, I, things are kind of crazy. Frosted Coconut Snowball. Another one that's like end of winter for me, beginning of spring kind of, when you're trying to like get more of those spring notes going, but still like, it's like in the middle kind of. Um, toasted Coconut Vanilla Musk Whipped Cream. Another one I love, I have the body care. Um, pretty sure I have soap left as well. So very excited about that one. And then the last one I picked up, cause I was on a limit, you know, um, cinnamon caramel swirl. I don't know if I've ever had this, but it sounded like it was going to be really good. Gooey caramel, grated cinnamon. So like a different kind of cinnamon, like what? Uh, and vanilla beans. So this is probably just like a staple, not necessarily 
need to be used during winter, but you know, just like an easy scent to use whenever. Could use it during winter if I don't have enough to like get me past them. So these are the three that Corey picked out. He has been absolutely obsessed with mahogany teakwood lately and so he actually got mahogany teakwood high intensity i was like you sure you want to go there and so he smelled the two candles compared to each other like regular mahogany teakwood versus high intensity hot mahogany teakwood and he was like no we need to get the high intensity so i have a feeling this one when he has this plugged in his office i'm gonna have to shut the door and <laughs> potentially shut my door because i have a feeling this is going to be very strong um, but he's totally into scents like that. Um, and then also he picked up, which I was not expecting from him, but he was like, you know what? He was only like, I want to get two. And so actually, originally he picked up hot cocoa and cream, which I said I would buy for him because he said he only wanted two. Um, hot cocoa and cream, which I was a little bit surprised about because in the past, I don't think he's wanted this one. So it kind of surprised me, but I've never had it, but it does seem like it would be a good one. So decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows. It's literally like a hot chocolate. Um, I'm interested to see how this does, but as we were looking for more scents, cause I had a list and I was having him help me hunt stuff down. Um, he came across laundry day, which I was like, I'm pretty sure this is new. He smelled the candle, you know, the little tester candle. It's fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. He was like, oh my gosh, I really, really like this. And it's for his room, so I was like, pick whatever you want if you're paying for them. Like, I don't care. Um, but he was like, oh, I only said I was going to get two, and he already had the mahogany teakwood. So he was like, uh, put back the hot cocoa and cream. And so he was saying, like, he wanted to buy the laundry day over the hot cocoa and cream. So I was like, I think he really, really liked the laundry day, which was kind of shocking to me because I didn't picture him as like a laundry scent type of person. So I was just like, okay. And I typically don't buy like that type of scent notes just because, I don't know, I, we don't have any plugins like in our laundry area. So that would be like the place I would put them. And so we can't really, so like, I don't even like I don't even think about that type of stuff, you know what I mean? So I was kind of shocked. And um, yeah, like I said, I don't really buy those. So maybe he's just never, like, because I've never bought them, I figured he also didn't like them, but that was kind of naive of me to think, I guess. So yeah, I'll be really shocked to see how this does. Um, like, is it strong? How does it actually smell? Cause I just smelled the candle a little bit and was like, I don't really care, you know? But it says it has eucalyptus and lavender, which makes me think more of aromatherapy, but the candle smelled more like you washed your towels, if that makes sense. So we will see. And then, yes, like I said, I told him I would just buy him hot cocoa and cream because I was like, you really want it? Pick it up. Like, it's the wallflower sale. You probably won't come back here on a whim and just get hot cocoa and cream. Like, let's just pick it up today. So that's what we did. So we got nine total. That should get us over the hump of winter. <laughs> we'll see if any are on sale at SAS because I really have no idea what this winter SAS will look like, honestly. So that's all I picked up. Not a ton. Did you guys pick anything up? Let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.